Hello everybody, Andrea Trowski here with Dental Tutoring. So you are almost in clinic. So whether you are still working on your student partners and then seeing patients, you are probably extremely nervous. I remember when I was in school thinking, oh my goodness, it was nerve wracking enough to work on my student partner. Now I have to work on an actual person. And you know what? You're nervous because you want to do um, well. You do not want to look like an idiot, you know, in front of your patient, in front of your classmates, in front of your instructors. But at the same time, you probably feel like you, you just haven't simply learned enough. But there's a lot of pressure because in clinic, um, depending on the, the um, school that you go to, you might have to get perfect, you know, basically. If you do something wrong, you um, fail a patient and then you have to find another one. And depending on where you, you, you live, if you don't have any friends or any family close by, it might be hard to find a patient to begin with. Um, when I was in hygiene school, I lived two hours away from my friends and my family, so I didn't see any of them because no one would want to take the time to come up and be my patient for like six different appointments. Um, when you start off, um, again, depending on the school you are at, we were seeing patients for at least six appointments because if you're new, you're just new with the whole thing, right? So things take longer. Then as you're closer to the end of your program, you might see them in four appointments. So it just sort of depends, right? Um, it depends on your comfort level. But the, um, I'd say the best advice that I can give you is be as organized as possible. And just keep in mind that everyone is nervous and the instructors are fully aware that you are nervous, very, very nervous, but you still have to get past it. You still have to get past it and you still have to do a good job. But also keep in mind that every single person started off where you are now. I did too. I was nervous. I couldn't imagine. I had nightmares for like months, you know. Um, but then as soon as you're in clinic, the first couple times, it's not bad. Your first time, okay, yes, you're, you're nervous. But even the second time, you're like, okay, at least I know what to expect now, right? But then by your, like after your first week, I'd say things get so much easier and you're not that nervous anymore. Then you start to think about, okay, I, I need to get good patients because I need to get good marks. It's normal to not be perfect. So please keep that in mind. So when you're in clinic, you have the um, assessment phase first, which will take you the longest initially because you're new at everything. And you have to write every little mark down, right? Right, you guys? Every little thing. So that does take time. But then your first time, you know, saying, okay, now I have to probe somebody. Oh my God. So the first time you do that, that will take forever because you're new at the whole thing, right? But at least your first time should be working on a student partner, right? So they understand that you're nervous and they're probably saying to you, hey, I understand, you know, don't even worry about it. But then it gets easier, right? And then you have to think about, okay, well, now I have to plan the appointments. I, I have all of the assessments down, so now I have to plan everything and then implement, right? So then you're at the point where, okay, so now I have to actually clean the teeth. Oh my goodness, how am I going to do that? Now, I still remember the first time that I cleaned somebody's teeth, I was like, just a little bit in there. And my instructor was kind of like, you didn't even take off the plaque, you know, because I was nervous. Don't be nervous, just get in there, you guys. Get in there with your instruments. You know how get in there. But keep in mind, the typodons that you have in school, their gingiva is a lot more loose and flexible. On a real person, on a healthy person even, it's not. So I don't want you to go in there and like, you know, go in there and be firm, but, act, but be careful, but be firm. Not just kind of a little bit like this. Be firm, okay? But not like this either, because it's not like a typodont. So I guess what I'm trying to say is that I totally understand that there's so many nervous things you're thinking of. Things can be very anxious depending on the steps that you're in. You know, initially it's like, okay, I'm, I'm nervous to go through the, uh, the medical history because now I have to like talk about the medications. I, I have to know about the medications. So it does help to look them up ahead of time if you, if you can. And then you're thinking, okay, I have to go through the assessment phase. So I, I, I have to mark down every single macule, papule, everything. If I miss something, oh my gosh, right? Take your time. 
it's okay. And then you're thinking, okay, well now I have to probe somebody. Oh my God, how much pressure do I put on? Am I not putting on enough pressure? All of that. But then you have to plan the appointments properly and then you have to actually clean the teeth. So it's a lot, but it's normal to be overwhelmed. It's normal to feel stressed, but just take it a clinic at a time and just keep on thinking. It does get easier because we all had to go through it. We all had to go through it and we all survived. So please keep that in mind. Be as organized as possible. Know what you're doing, I guess, before you're in clinic. You know, there's no sense looking through your chart saying, okay, what am I doing again today? Is it the assessment phase? Is it the cleaning phase? I can't remember now. Always know what you're doing and take notes. It doesn't hurt to take notes. Like when I started seeing patients, I would always have um, a notebook. And then at the end of clinic, like, like I would take notes on what I did on that patient and how I felt everything went. So like I could have said something like, oh, um, it took me a little bit longer to do the medical history today because I didn't know two of um, the medications. So I had to look them up, you know. So then look at that and then say, okay, how could I have made that, that easier on myself for next time? Well, look at the medications ahead of time which means you have to ask the patient ahead of time what the medications are, right? So it does help to take notes and then you can look at the notes afterwards and say, okay, um, what did I like in clinic today and what did I not like? You know, how can I make that easier for myself for next time? So try not to be nervous. Everybody's nervous, you will get over it and then by your first week or even second week, you'll be like, oh, that wasn't so bad. So now I have to focus on actually passing, right? But that's another story altogether. So good luck. Try not to be nervous. If you need anything, please just let me know.